Hi, my name is Colin McCann. Uh, I'm in my rather messy office uh, in New York and um, I'm just thinking of Jim Harrison, who's just about everywhere uh, in, the, in this office. Uh, here's one of his shelves, along with some Dr. O and some uh, Achebe, but mostly Jim, 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 Jim. There's some more Jim up here with some, with some Nabokov and John Berger. And well, Jim's just about everywhere. Here's a picture of him here. I hope this video turns out. Uh, there's some other heroes of mine, Benedict Kiley, Marlon, James, my son, Christian, myself and uh, Gabriel Byrne and my father. Oh, I suppose there's a, a lot of heroes here uh, all at once, but Jim was my one of my great heroes. And I'm just gonna read one of my uh, favorite uh, poems, the start of uh, Letters to Yesenin. It's from this um, old copy that's uh, fallen apart, as you can see. Uh, I've got some letters from Jim in the back. <laughs> Dear Colm. Um, anyway, uh, I'm falling apart, but his, but his poems never fall apart. Okay. This, motted, this matted and glossy photo of Yesenin, bought at a Leningrad newsstand permanently tilted on my desk, he doesn't stare at me, he stares at nothing. The difference between a plane crash and a noose adds up to nothing. And what can I do with heroes with my brain fixed on so few of them? Again, nothing. Regard his flat magazine eyes with my half-cocked own, both of us seeing nothing. In the vodka was nothing and Isadora was nothing. The pistol waved in New York was nothing. And that plank bridge near your village home in Ryazan covered seven feet of nothing. The clumsy noose that swung the tilted body was nothing but a noose. A law of gravity, the seeking for the ground. A few feet of nothing between shoes and the floor, a light year away. So this is a song of Yesenin's noose which came to nothing but did a good job, as we say back home, where there's nothing but snow. But I stood under your balcony in St. Petersburg, yes, St. Petersburg, a crazed tourist with so much nothing in my heart, it wanted to implode, and I walked down to the Neva embankment with a fine sleet falling, and there was finally something, a great river vastly flowing, flat as your eyes, something to marry to my nothing heart, other than the poems you hurled into nothing those years before the articulate noose. Thank you, Jim. Cheers.